The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There's a story that was told by a, a chassid from Yerushalayim, uh, Reb Nochem Rabinowitz, and he went into Yechidus with the Rebbe. He tells a story, not of his own Yechidus, but actually of somebody else's Yechidus. He was waiting to go into a personal audience with the Rebbe, and uh, he saw this guy waiting his turn, and the guy looked very troubled. And he could tell by looking at him that he was a wealthy man. He looked sort of aristocratic, but that he looked very, very troubled. So this, this chassid from Yerushalayim noticed this, this wealthy man who looked very, uh, very disturbed. And uh, he noticed him going into Yechidus, and he noticed him coming out. And when this, this gentleman, the wealthy man who looked very disturbed, came out of Yechidus, he looked completely elated. He, he had serenity. He, had, uh, he looked like he didn't have a care in the world. So this uh, Rabinowitz goes over to the, to the fellow, and he, uh, he says, I'm sorry, you know, I'm a stranger, so you don't have to tell me, but... I saw you went in, you looked awful, and I see you're coming out, and you look completely different. So this fellow explains that he had lost his son, and that he couldn't get over it. He was inconsolable. And he had sought help and uh, guidance and comfort from all sources and nothing was really working. And somebody suggested him to go to the, uh, the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And he went to the Rebbe and the Rebbe said, in theory, what if I were to tell you that, you know, your son, he didn't die. He went to a foreign country where there's no way to communicate with him, but he's very comfortable and he's very happy there. As a father, would you be, I mean, obviously you'd miss him, but would you be okay with that? Would you be happy for him? And he said, yeah, you're telling me you, my son is happy. He's doing well. I mean, obviously I, I wish I could communicate with him, but you know, if he's doing well, then yeah, I'm happy. That I said, and now what if I told you that Actually, you can communicate with him, except it's only one direction. You can't hear from him, but he can hear from you. How? You can send him packages. You can send him care packages. So he said, yeah, that would make it even easier to bear. So the Rebbe said, so what I'm telling you is not a theory, it's the reality. Your son isn't gone. He moved somewhere else, but he's okay, he's comfortable, he's well. And you can even send him packages. Every time you do a mitzvah in his honor, he's receiving benefit from that in heaven. He knows it's from you. And it's elevating his position in Gan Eden, in, the, in, in paradise. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org.